everybody mid. It's a nice, brisk, cold uh, January afternoon, but I wanted to get out and do a little testing on some uh, some reloads that I did. Um, got all my 32 ACP pistols out here, at least the ones that I have. Currently in my position, I have another one on layaway still. Oh, he's down here. Well, Stellar's down here. bit out here in the rainbow. So I did shoot a couple of rounds out of each one so far. And uh, what I found, man, this wind is something. Um, I have uh, two MABs. Uh, they're, one's a Spanish, one's a French. Uh, both of those didn't cycle this new stuff. I just reloaded very well. Uh, it fired it, fired it okay to the target, but it, every one of them stovepipe wouldn't have enough uh, power there to get the eject to happen. But then the other four that I have here, uh, let's see, I have the uh, FN Browning Model 1922, I have a Savage uh, Model 1907, I have a CZ Model 27, and I have a Mauser model 1914. Um, all four of those actually cycled this uh, ammo really nice. how it when you put the mag in it closes the closes the uh, slide automatically but started. This is my first batch of uh, 32 ACP here. Um, just got all the pieces and parts I needed, brass and everything. There's Stelgi again. She came over to say hi. So hi, Stelgi. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, so I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I need another one or two grains of using uh, 1.7 grains of red dot. Um, a couple of different recipes and different sources so I uh, thought it was a pretty safe and effective load. Um, my uh, Lyman book showed a uh, minimum of 1.5 up to like 2.6 or 2.3 or something like that. I did a did 1.7 I put just a little bit more than the minimum in there but uh, shooting nice they're all hitting nice and round no no uh, uh, boat tails or anything happening bullets look like they're doing pretty good surprisingly the CZ is uh, the most accurate so far with these that I've seen uh, right at point of impact uh, the Mauser uh, again just like I had found uh, the other day with it um, it's hitting to the left a little bit I don't know if I need to drift that sight just a tiny bit um, get my point of impact uh, where it needs to be but uh, the rest of them all hit pretty good um, but the, the CZ was right where I was aiming. All three shots, boom, boom, boom. But, uh, so anyway, that's uh, 32. It's a, it's a nice little round. Um, bought some brass online. I bought a mold. Um, uh, said it's supposed to be 77 grains, but uh, for whatever reason, the way I'm casting them, 
they're all dropping and uh, measuring right at about 80 grains. But they're right at 0.311, so I don't even have to size them. I tumble lubed them with some Lee uh, Alox uh, lube. And then, uh, like I said, 1.7 grains of uh, red dot. They cycle pretty nice. Uh, the MABs, I guess I'll have to just use the commercial ammo on those until I figure out something else to do with them. But these other ones, they all cycled real nice. So anyway, getting a little cold out here. I'm going to get out of here. I just want to get out real quick and test them and let the dogs run around a little bit. They're both sitting there being cold already, so they want to go. Um, but if you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, check out my Patreon page. Uh, give me a consideration there. And also uh, check out Walnut and Steel on Facebook. Uh, we got a great group of, uh, great group of uh, collectors there and uh, enthusiasts that uh, you know just like firearms and like to chat about it. And uh, we have a good time doing it. So... Anyway, uh, have a great day, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, see you again soon.